What's going on, my friend? It's Jeff Newbert from ChasingStrength.com. And in this video, we are going to discuss the kettlebell exercise that gets you strong AF. I think AF stands for Air Force. I'm not sure, but you know, we'll have to check it out. All right, so let's dive in here. Do you know what the willing suspension of disbelief is? Well, in case you don't, it's a literary device that authors and movie makers use to get you to set aside critical thinking and accept unreal elements of the story. Okay. And as a result, you emotionally engage with the storyline. And it helps you immerse yourself in fantastical or implausible scenarios. For example, any martial arts movie ever, okay? So sometimes kettlebell training requires the willing suspension of disbelief. For example, many guys don't have the time or energy to train the way they used to when they're in their late teens and early 20s. So the train to failure and beyond methodology no longer works. Plus, even though we want to believe that something can be true, like using a few selected kettlebell exercises to eliminate the need for 55, 11 different traditional exercises, including the ones for your plantaris longus, right? Well, that, that can be pretty hard to swallow. For example, Back to our training to failure example here. Many of us were taught that in order to get bigger and stronger, you had to train to failure, bruh. One set all out as many as you can, right? <laughs> I'm being mildly obnoxious here, but like if you spent any time growing up in the gym in the late 80s, early 90s, right? You probably ran into that mindset, okay? It's a belief that we all embraced early on. And you know what? it's really hard to let go of. So especially since the science, hashtag trust but verify the science, has now proven otherwise, okay? Here's a little side note. I provided the research below this video, but what's interesting to note is that I've actually been writing about this stuff and promoting these ideas since about 2009 when I started getting online and talking about kettlebell training, okay? And I guess that was long before the science, hashtag science, validated these concepts. Yet so many guys delay taking action because they can't reconcile this belief and the energy and time required to execute on a plan based upon it. So they kick the proverbial getting in shape or getting back in shape concept down the road to someday, right? <laughs> and you and I both know someday rarely ever comes. Yeah, you know what? Part of us just wants to believe that there is a better way. And deep inside, we, we all hope that by using kettlebells, we found that way. But in order to do so, in order to really grab hold of that hope, right? We have to willingly suspend our disbelief, okay? Just like in the movies. And this, I think, is where other people's stories help. Success stories of guys just like us, just like you, who have gotten the results you're hoping for or maybe even dreaming of. And that's why I put out videos like this, right? I like to showcase other people's results. And that's why I think you're going to love this comment that I got on one of my recent YouTube videos about the snatch, okay? And this was from at Brian Carroll, 1882, right? He said, I drilled basically only snatches for four months strength and every other lift improved. They get you strong as you fill in the blank, okay? It simply proves there is major power in just proverbial air quotes, right? One kettlebell exercise. In this case, the kettlebell snatch. In fact, it's one of my top five kettlebell exercises for men over 40. And for that reason, it gets you strong AF, right? Again, I think that's Air Force. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know who came up with the AF thing, but you have to admit, it's pretty good. In fact, I can't wear my Air Force hat anymore. My ball cap, it says AF. So anyway, look, if you're pinched for time, know your way around the kettlebell, right? And then why not suspend your disbelief and take a page out of Brian's book and train only snatches for the next however long. You can do it for four months like Brian. You can do it for three months, okay? You can do it for longer if you want. You can check out the King Size Killer Snatch Program in the link below this video in the description below. Inside that program, you will find all your snatch training planned out for you for the next 22 weeks. That's five and a half months. And if you only did the 1.0 and 2.0 plan and bailed on the 3.0, it'd be about four and a half months similar to Brian's plan. I'm betting like Brian, you too would see every lift and brew and get strong AF. All right. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, click the like button, smash the subscribe button, share this video with a friend who you know wants to get strong AF, but doesn't have a lot of time to train like they did when they were, you know, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay. And then finally, leave me a comment in the comment section below about your experiences with the kettlebell snatch. But as always, keep it classy. All right. Until next time, my friend, stay strong.